Filmmakers rejoice. The little gem of the film festival circuit is here with Brigsby Bear. And Brigsby Bear is directed by Dave McCarry and stars SNL alum Kyle Mooney. The film also stars Mark Hamill and uh, Greg Kinnear. Brigsby Bear is about this young, young, young lad who's trapped uh, underground in this house with, with his parents and uh, his only company and his only connection to the outside world is through this character Brigsby Bear who's played on a tape and the tape is, and he's just, it's, it's a kid's show about uh, learning lessons and going on adventures and kind of teaching him life, life goals and so pretty much he gets let loose out into the real world and he meets people, creates friends um, and it's just, I don't, we don't want to give too much away but he kind of opens his eyes to the world. Yeah, he has to kind of figure out what the world is all about. Yes. Um, he's very um, open-eyed, fish out of water. It almost Wonder Woman-like. It's like yeah. he, he doesn't know what's going on, and it's very innocent the way he goes about it. And a lot of that comedy has come through that kind of his fish out of water scenarios, interacting with different people and stuff. Um, what I really loved about this movie is that, uh, like a few other films, like like Chef and um, films where there's just no villain. Yeah. Like, there, there doesn't have to be a villain. It's just a story about this kid and his journey and his experiences with different people and his mission and what he wants to do. Like, it was just such a nice, relieving movie to watch. Yeah, it's more lighthearted and optimistic. It's yeah. like he's been through all this horrible crap being in captivity mm. and then he's been released like that, but it's more lighthearted. It's not like the captivity movies you've seen before, like 10 Cloverfield Lane or Room, and it's like, yeah. it's all dark and oh, all these, he's going to have all these problems coming into the real world. No, he, he's very... He adapts quite well. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. And um, he, he, he's just, and, and he, he gets stuff wrong, which is funny, but yeah. like he's, it doesn't freak him out or it doesn't freak anyone else out they're just kind of like because they all know who he is yeah so it's kind of just sort of like oh yeah cool man let's, let's hang out let's take you to this party he's very childlike and that he doesn't have a filter so he just yeah. he doesn't realize what he's saying is wrong or no one yeah. would actually say that yeah. you know you know he and just, he picks up picks up anonymisms of like other what other people say yeah a, even like in the wrong context which is which is great and just carl mooney just does such a great job as this character and he just with the childlike and the like, the the striving, just I think he nails it, and as well as Mark Hamill, dude, just having Mark Hamill in this oh, movie, yes. I was just like, dude, like Luke Skywalker's in this movie, <laughs> and uh, he's so good, and he's just, and he, and you know, it's not a massive part, but like he just plays it perfectly, perfect amount. I go it. for the, what I say, is subtlety. It's subtlety, very, yeah. very subtlety when it comes to the characters, and like you could have been over the top. Um, I said the main character, he could have been like. You know, all like, oh my god, there's this, oh my god, there's that. Him trying to um, figure out where he is in his, in his world yeah. by using Brigsby Bear. And it's yeah. like, that has been his life, that has been his morals, yeah. and how the Brigsby Bear fits into this world that he does not know. Yeah, and he freaks out because no one else knows of Brigsby. Yeah. So he's trying to you know, project what Brigsby means and what he does and kind of his themes onto people. People are just like, I don't know what Brigsby... So the infectiousness of Brigsby Bear gets like put on to everyone else. And it's just such a joy to watch. And like a lot of filmmakers out there or young filmmakers and people that just want to go out there and make movies, this movie will just get you jazzed just to go out there and be with your friends and just make stuff. And, uh, and that's what Brigsby Bear really nails in is like the idea of just fitting into a family, fitting into a group of friends, kind of creating your own, your new family in a way. Exactly. There's not much to really dislike about this movie. I, I walked in, I was laughing the whole way. It was never slow. Pacing was good. It was just, it's just a sweet film. Yeah. And like, I, it's so hard to. I've only got it. like a couple of little things. Like, um, I thought his sister, I don't know who she plays, I don't, I don't know the actor. Um, right. The sister. The moody, moody sister. The moody sister was the moody teen, um, which I kind of was like, oh, okay then. Um, I thought they could have done a little bit more with that, more on the lines of like, you know, if she's been brought up with her parents being obsessed trying to find their son. And maybe, she's almost been ignored. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. there's a little bit of resentment, but it was kind yeah. of like, he, she, he comes along and now oh, she, he's just an annoyance. Um, yeah, yeah. Which I, I kind of was a little bit flat. And also, I, f I felt the character Spencer, that's the his friend that comes along, that friendship just suddenly happens over uh, one night yeah. at a party. Yeah. And like, these are nitpicks. These are real nitpicks. Yeah. Um, but like, there's social things, like if you're, if you're a new guy at a party, you're not going to create friends that quickly. No, like it's they could have they could have used a bit more of like awkward interactions, really not making friends, like really struggling to make yeah, friends, and then he makes. They a friend did it once or twice. Like I think there was a group of people over there, and he's like, "I like your clothes," and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like, "Okay, that's awkward." He doesn't know how to. Um, Run. Even with the chick he goes up to the bedroom with. Like, yeah, exactly. That happened way too quickly. And I was but, like, man, that never happened to me. Yeah. That never happened to me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> F 
definitely got to put a Greg Kinnear. His little his oh, he's so his part in his movie. He's a sympathetic character yeah. to um, the main guy. He's and, a detective. Yeah, he's a detective who's doing the case and everything. But he understands that like, this kid's gone through a lot. Yeah. And um, Brigsby Bear. And he's is, doing something that Greg used to like to do. Yeah, exactly. Day, like, and Brigsby. So he's sympathetic. Yeah, and he sees Brigsby as what it's it's a part of him, and it might be a way to helping this kid get back into the real world. And mm. they said he just does these subtle things um, throughout the movie. It's just like, oh, that's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The film is beautifully shot. It yes. just looks a million bucks. The supporting cast and all the other people they bring in to play roles, they just do a great job. All of them fit like just amazingly. Yeah. And the, the style that they use for Brigsby, the kind of the 80s VHS 4x3 yes. kind of look, um, just translates really well with like what they tried to do when, they, when, they, when they're kind of making the movie. Yeah. And, you know, because they, they, they try and remake a Brigsby, Brigsby movie. And um, just the style works and the kind of how Brigsby talks and just like the way they enter. Oh, it's just a really smart film. There's a lot, there's a lot you could peel away the layers of this film. Mm. There'd be a lot there. Um, so it's definitely uh, good for another rewatch as well. It's just, just enjoyable. That's, yeah. that's the one thing I kind of like. It's enjoyable and you understand what all the characters, what, they're, what they want, what they want and what they need. Mm. And yeah, I just enjoyed it. Yeah, it's, I, not, it's not trying to nail down your throat this like issue of just like mental health no. or family or like, you know, or just like crime and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just showing you this dude's journey. So yeah, Brigsby Bear, just to kind of wrap it all up. I love the acting. Like Kyle Mooney, I said, I've never seen him before. I don't watch SNL, but he I was. I keep an eye out for this dude. Oh yeah, his, his it's his subtlety when it comes to his acting and his timing, comedic timing is just brilliant. Yeah. And his one liners and everything else like that. Because I, I even think there's a part when his sister says, like, "Why are you so weird?" And he's just like, "Well, I was a, in captivity." Yeah, and it, yeah, it's yeah. just it's there's subtle it's like, things. She's like, "Yeah, I know that." I yeah, know that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but and all the supporting cards in general are really good. Um, um, I think, yeah, the, how they visually put it all together when they're making this, see, the 80s style film was really yeah. great. Um, and I just enjoyed it. I just really enjoyed it. Um, I, said, I don't think it's going to, as you said, not going to make Academy Awards or anything, but it's a movie you can just enjoy. I'm going to go pretty high with this. I'm going to say 8 out of 10. Nice. I, I really just enjoyed everything about it. And, yeah, if you if you just want to go and have a good time and not have to think about yeah. it or anything that's dreary in this world just or enjoy like watching that, it with some friends just and family. Enjoy it. Like, it's, good, it's good fun. Enjoy it. Yeah. I, I very much agree exactly with what Brendan said. It's just a lovely movie. It looks great. Um, I just dug all the characters. I dug the story. It was, it was short and sweet. It was like an hour and a half. Mm. Perfect duration. Yeah. Um, the comedy was on point. It was well edited. And yeah, I just really dug... I really dug the Brigsby character, especially the bear. Like, yeah. just the fact that he, he works in this, these crazy mathematical equations into his yeah, stories. Yeah, we forgot to say about that. Yeah, it's and like, like... And like, just his, his like... He's like, well, there's something we can learn from this. X minus Y <laughs> it carried to the... And all this, I just love that. And just like... No, it wasn't just the mathematics, but it's like... You know, emotional um, lessons and stuff yeah. about love and family and loss and never giving up on your dreams. And this is really a, a film about never giving up on your dreams. Boy to man kind of story. Mm. A lot of development there. This film was dope as shit. <laughs> this film was dope as shit. You'll get that reference if you watch the movie. Um, I had such a great time. I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm definitely going to pick it up on, oh, uh, on, on Blu-ray yeah. uh, DVD. Uh, so I would definitely, definitely recommend you go out there and see it. I will also end on an 8 out of 10. Boom. Nice. Good stuff. And uh, check it out, guys. Brigsby Bear, one for the world. Ah! <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> so thank you very much, guys, for tuning in to our Brigsby Bear um, review. Um, just go see it. It's, yeah, it's, I reckon. Just best thing to do is go see it. And because it's probably going to be in those little more independent cinemas, just yeah. actually go out there. Try and, and find it. Try and try find, and find it. it. It's one of those movies that really deserves actually a bit of love yeah, so, yeah. Um, and i think if it's not if it's not in the cinemas near you it'll probably be on on demand streaming service yeah. i'd say pretty soon uh so definitely keep an eye out for it uh you'll love it to bits so thank you guys again so much for watching we really really appreciate it uh please check out again other videos bits and pieces they're all up here aren't they do, do you do that yeah, i think i put one right in your face oh right so here block, just come on my face yeah. yeah yeah that's all good <laughs> This is Taylor's one right here. Right he loves here. This one. Oh, yes. Um, so, thank you guys, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Catch up.